But anyway, let's have a look at next week's games so we can talk a bit about that. Of course, we do have West Ham Man United as well. I've still got Pogba and Lingard to hopefully play and do some damage for me. Uh, but then we have the final game week of the season. We have until Sunday to make our choices. It looks like kickoff is at 2, so we have to get everything sorted by 1. No, deadline is at 2. So kickoff will be at 3. Why can't I read? Why can't I read? And to be honest, team I'm likely to play... I think Van der Horn will definitely come off purely because I think Swansea are going to go all out attack and Stoke have nothing to lose. So I could see that being a high scoring game. My goalkeepers could probably use changing, but I might stick with Dvoreka. Uh, Maguire is not the best option. Batongin probably play. We'd have to make that change. Sterling, Pogba, Jesus, Kane, Vardy. So ideally, of course, I'd like to bring in Salah just to kind of cover my bases. But I'm not sure I can in just one transfer. Nope, that's impossible. Don't know whether to stick with Sterling. Of course, making a big move of Sterling gives frees up funds. Could free up funds with Vardy, pick a very cheap striker. But we have, as games, Burnley versus Bournemouth. Um... Burnley having a good season. They may want to end it well. Bournemouth pretty much have nothing to play for. Palace, West Brom. West Brom may just want to see their season out uh, with some sort of decent performance. Palace, now they're safe, they may just take their foot off the uh, pedal. Huddersfield, Arsenal. Arsenal may want to send off Arsene Wenger with a bang. So, kind of wish I had some Arsenal players, especially with the way this game week's gone. Um, Huddersfield by that point might be safe I would probably go Arsenal in that fixture Liverpool Brighton again Brighton don't have anything to play for Liverpool Salah may want more goals Liverpool want to make sure they keep Champions League uh, Man United Watford Man United don't have anything to play for neither do Watford that game could have nothing or it could be some crazy performance from someone Newcastle, Chelsea. Chelsea will want the win. Um, Newcastle have been quite good defensively under Rafa Benitez, but Chelsea will want the win in that one. Southampton versus Manchester City. Manchester City may want to see the end season off with a win. Southampton do have the very, very small possibility uh, of getting relegated. Let me just double check it again. If something absolutely crazy happens but it's very unlikely so I probably wouldn't go Southampton I could be wrong but I'd probably go Man City with that one Spurs Leicester Spurs again going to try to keep that Champions League place less than nothing to play for so keep your Spurs players Swansea Stoke I would suggest that Swansea are going to go all out so that could be a high scoring game with a lot of goals and then West Ham Everton by that point Neither team will have anything to play for, so I'd probably stay clear of that one. If we're looking at players to pick from those sides, I'll try and pick out a, one good player and one differential. Uh, Burnley, their differentials would probably be their strikers or Goodmanson. Uh, Burnley defender isn't a bad shout in that game. Palace, West Brom, you could go with someone like Rondon or maybe Brunt. He's possible to get an assist if they do decide to turn up and see their season off with a win. Uh, Arsenal, Aubameyang looks good, Lacazette looks good, a lot of good options there, Awobi might get some game time because it's the last game of the season, uh, that would be my differential, Liverpool, Brighton, Salah of course, if you've taken him out, try and bring him back in, other than that, Robertson uh, might be a good differential, I'm presuming a lot of people have transferred him out, Manu, Watford, maybe look at players like Lingard, cheap options that could do really well from the Man United side, Newcastle, Chelsea, I can't bring myself to pick Chelsea players. So apologies for that if you're wanting a Chelsea differential. I just, I don't know. I haven't even watched Chelsea games because I just, I don't know what it is, but I've been put off by them this season. Newcastle, well, their options have done very well for me come the tail end of the season. 
Um, if they could just do it one more time, that would be fantastic. Southampton Man City, as Sterling isn't playing today, unless there is a big reason for that, I would say Sterling is a good shout for the next game. And there isn't a reason why he's out. So I'd say maybe Sterling uh, to bring in differential. That's difficult. Who is a differential at City, to be fair? You could maybe go someone like David Silva, because I think most people will move to Sane uh, after the way he's playing right now. Some people stick with Sterling. Some people have De Bruyne. So I'd maybe look there. Spurs, Leicester. I mean, you could go Kane. You could go. There's so many options there. Maybe just stick, go with a defender for some clean sheet points, because I'm surprised they haven't scored yet in this double game week. Or did they? They did score, didn't they? No, they didn't score. They've not scored this game week yet. Uh, Swansea Stoke. Jordan Ayew could be a good shout. Uh, he's kind of a differential and probably their main choice. And West Ham Everton. Only player I really would look from there is Arnautovic in case he wants to see off the season and continue his decent form. 